मन्नाथ श्री जगन्नाथ मद गुरु श्री जगद गुरु मदात्मा सर्वभूतात्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम I bow to God and Gurus, all masters of all religions of all times and all places. I bow to the maker of the Pragyan Mission. I bow to all the life members of the Pragyan Mission, all Kriyavans, all executive members of the Pragyan Mission of yesterday and today. all well wishers of pragyan mission all worshipers of our beloved gurudev i bow a special bow to sri guru ji who is the nurturer of the pragyan mission when i think of pragyan mission my goes my mind goes back to the days of the origin and the divine originator in 1993 beloved gurudev asked our shri guru ji when he was in white clothes to have a piece of land on the bank of a water mass a stream a river or something of the sort shri guru ji asked what for He had to set up an ashram there. So there was a little bit of reluctance in the moment of this discussion. He appealed to Guru Dev, beloved Guru Dev, "I'm willing to live my householder's life, but if I set up an ashram, I have to earn money, think of its management, I have to staff, provide staff for them. It will be greater problem." Then that is the problem of a householder's management life. Nothing doing. Guru Dev monitored his mind in such a way he had to search for a land and acquired a small piece of land at Nimpur, Jagatpur, city of Katak, Odisha, in the month of January. With a very short time, on the Saraswati Puja day, he conducted the Bhumi Puja. It's a kind of ritual, offering prayers to the Mother Earth, seeking the blessings for a construction of a building there. It's a very beautiful, humble approach for seeking the blessings of the nature. seeking the blessings of the god and gurus and he did it work started work started in war footing by mid may whatever may be the small construction was over and they were ready to begin the inaugural ceremony and that is the beginning of the the real program mission the real jagatpuras Jagatpur Ashram and Pragyan Mission Headquarter are so intertwined each other; they are inseparable, integrated for ever. In 1994, the ideas of undertaking charitable activities were so active, divinely active. The Sri Guru Ji, in an informal way, started charitable activities. helping people helping children helping women helping the needy in 1996 ashram has been built but the principal deity of the ashram has not visited the ashram he is submitting his petitions in prayer and meditation o oh, beloved gurudev visit the ashram at least once his dream has been fulfilled on 2nd march 1996 
beloved Gurudev enters the golden gate of the Astra. He's stepped into the campus. His holy feet blessed the campus and the constructed building and all the Kriyabans assembled there. Beloved Gurudev stayed for more than two weeks every day guiding innumerable disciples and devotees through meditation and beyond meditation solving their problems problems of spirituality even the problems of social life. Beloved Gurudev is so beautiful one cannot find a comparison anywhere neither in history nor in future. Beloved Gurudev made his sojourn there so beautiful Kriyavans forgot their time forgot their schedules they were no more busy men but they were only busy with Beloved Gurudev, listening to him, meditating and praying, serving him, helping each other. It became a small paradise for more than a fortnight during the sojourn of Beloved Gurudev. In the year 1998, Beloved Gurudev sending his message of peace. originating an idea that a mission is needed to carry out not only Kriya preaching but charitable activities under the banner of a mission, registered mission, such charitable activities should be continued so that the service will be beautiful, service will be not challenged by others. As we find in the epic, Lord Narayana in Ananta Sayana in the milk ocean. He resolved on that day to begin the creation and from his naval center emerged the celestial lotus to hold the four-faced Brahman, the creator. Similarly, beloved Gurudev, from his divine dream and divine mind emerged the golden lotus named Pragyana mission to hold and to uphold the beautiful cultural activities, the beautiful social activities, the beautiful charitable activities for which the Pragyana mission stands today. In the subsequent year, year 1999, this mission was registered under the Lodge of India, Society's Registration Act. You will be surprised to know that only the nomenclature was given by him. He gave the guidelines for the drafting of the bylaws of the mission, memorandum of understanding of the mission. It was not limited to that only. He submitted a list of names to be chosen as the members of the executive committee. And you will be surprised to know three of them still continues to serve beloved Gurudev holding their positions in the executive committee. It will be not fair if I do not tell their names. Shri Keshi Mahapatra, Keshi Singh and Trijip Das. Sri Guruji was the first and the last life president of the mission. But he abandoned the post and coronated Swami Shuddharanji as the president. Thereafter, you will be happy to know today we have a president, a mother. Nowhere on earth. Sri Guruji, the way he has reflected its love for the feminine folks, we have found such kind of love anywhere. 
you can stick to the posts but here nobody holds to clings to the post everybody clings to the commitment the commitment commitment pragyan mission on the day of the origin of the pragyan mission shri guru ji gave an assurance to the world let the pragyan mission be named so and so but all its accept all its accepted activities all its projections in future all the institution that you will establish in future all the works that you will take up in future they will be commemorated to the sweet memory of beloved gurudev in that pond of beautiful pragyan mission a beautiful lotus emerged hari hara ananda gurukula at bali gai chaitana puri odisha that is just a piece of jungle just a piece of woods a variety some limited varieties of trees were there four or five varieties of trees were there beloved gurudev planted lots of coconut lots of mango trees guava trees and many other plantations but shri guru ji brought about a change a bigger change in the botanical structure and the nature and the character of bali gai it looks like a wonderful forest and not only a forest it is a beautiful forest garden Swami Aurobanji one day told, because of Sri Guruji, Bali Ghai Chaitana property has become an Indra Prastha. Really, that is an Indra Prastha. Mind goes to that days when the second lotus emerged in the form of Hari Harananda charitable. health center not to only to take care of the brahmachari and sanyasis not only to take care of the kriya yoga but to help the needy and the poor shri guru ji had a fascination during his early youth how he could go to the remote areas of the villages interiors where women and children are bereft of medical treatment and medical care he wished to go there knock at their door distribute medicines and to fulfill that dream this scsc was established it has now wonderful activities both in complex of, at the complex of hari aranda gurukulam helping and giving medical treatment to many needy men and women children of the vicinity initially the health center in jagatpur was continuing in the jagatpur ashram but for some of the years a new complex has been created that stands just some meters away from the headquarter of the pragya mission taking care of people coming even from dhankana from the remote areas of athagad and narsingpur even from the distant places of this banki and that gurda not a matter of joke doctors are giving free medical service it is wonder of wonders for the brahmacharis and that of the monks to take care of such an hospital outdoor hospital taking care of them the center has earned a good name in diabetic services helping the diabetic patients in a significant way i am told for no more than 100000 of patients are treated there given free medicines and for the medical tests little bit of fee just to maintain a kind of discipline nothing beyond that hari haranand charitable health center 
fulfilling its promises fulfilling the dreams of beloved gurudev and sri guruji now to coming to another another lotus that emerged in arua kadali ban pota mundai kendra pada hari hara ananda balasra social or funds and economic or funds of the remote districts children those were affected by poverty poverty of money property and poverty of mind they have been selected and given royal treatment free cbse educational facilities at hari hara ananda balasra balasra by itself by its nomenclature also claims a kind of primacy a kind of so importance a glory when i look to balasram i visit balasram mingle the children and the staff the teachers and the principal and when i put the dust into my forehead tears roll down on my cheeks and i feel at that moment this is the sangam the merger of the philosophy of shanti niketan of rabindra tagore's he satyavadi banavidyala of pandit gopabandhu das fe of odisha and jamia malia jamia milia naya talim trains of dr jati ruse sri goji a professor of economics and a professor of breath has a special longing for children those of seen guruji visiting balas presiding over several functions guruji giving orientation classes taking orientation classes guruji playing with the children on the holy occasions sri guruji his presence brings our transformation on the campus of balasram in the campus of the heart of the children and the teachers it is a sight to be seen it is a spectacle to be witnessed i have seen sri guru ji when he visit balasram he becomes completely different his presence in gurukulam is different but his presence in balasram is different i read mahatma gandhi when he is feeling very much tense with the national political problems to immediately go from the meeting from the conclave to the children rob is no with the rob of the children children rob is no with the nose of the child children feel elated and come back relaxed children are the children of god children of gurudev that is the way sri guru ji has taught us to treat our children you may go without food but my children should not that is the primacy that pragya mission has been committed to give taking care of the children with the love world around many lovers of balasram beginning from children to that of young and old they shower their love shower their blessings in various forms to make balasram a success i bow to them publication of books country needs books a mind goes to the time of history when the university of nalanda was burnt to ashes along with the libraries of books thousands of thousands of thousands of pamphlet books containing the treasures of the wisdom ancient wisdom of india now time has come to replace this like we have to more write more about philosophy about the culture about yoga about history and above all about the human life the ways how to move towards liber- liberation books pragyan mission's publication division is committed to publish books 
on the teachings and the writings of beloved gurudev beloved shri guruji shri guruji every year writes good number of books in english and they are instantly translated into hindi and odia and sometimes in that of marathi language kannad language tamil language bengali language and the like it caters to the interest of the kriyavans interest of the lovers of the mission lovers of india lovers of the world culture pragyan mission by publishing books is not only making the messages of the teachers masters of the lineage reach the hearts of others not merely glorifying the lineage but ushering in a new celebration of the literature a new celebration of the illumination a new era of wisdom when natural calamities they come rich and poor young and old they are but a flat their ego is flattened they need help whenever there is a fire burning the houses of the villagers whenever there is a calamity like fani causing damage to the homes and homeland whenever there is flood pragyan mission tries to be promptly available on the spot of the safari and with the limited resources with unlimited love brahmacharis sanyasis friends kriyavans lovers of the mission unite their hearts unite their hands to go to those scenes of suffering and try to alleviate their suffering sri guru's love for the children is not limited to the children of the hari hara anand balasram if he finds if he, we find some child or some children are suffering struggling to complete the respective educational courses we offer them scholarship some assistance formal and informal ways one of the spectacular thing apart from kriya yoga programs kriya yoga retreats prakar mission is committed to create an awareness in the mind of the people through organization of gita gyana jagyas divine discourses on gita its relevance in modern times shri guruji's discourses on gita not merely an interpretation not a commentary it is a relevant discourse given to the people of india given to the people of the world to learn the inherent message of gita and revitalize their life and to rediscover the reality within the human life his discourses are not limited to only spiritual words and spiritual interpretations it goes beyond that to the society to the home to the heart to the mind of the people even it reaches the conscience of the people in the modern times yes we are becoming intelligent later we are getting university education nothing yes more everything scientific knowledge technological know how we are very proficient in that but gradually and gradually the voice of the conscience is becoming milder and milder through gita gyana jagyas shri guru ji wants to enhance to lighten up that the flame of gita within the flame of truth and reality within that is pragyan mission i will failing in my duties if i do not speak a little on two eminent activity of pragyan mission in this century one construction of shri guru mandir on the campus of hari harar gurukulam second 
वर्ल्ड वाइड सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ बर्थ सेंटिनरी ऑफ बिलवेड गुरुदेव दिस टू आर लाइफ टाइम प्रोजेक्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ श्री गुरु मंदिर इट्स अ जाइगेंटिक मैटर इट्स अ बिग प्रोजेक्ट टूडे इट लुक्स ब्यूटिफुल बट वेन द we started the construction it was full of shallow areas on believably it is so inhospitable we sometimes fail to understand how to continue the programs of the construction how to complete it slowly and slowly with the guidance of sri guru ji Shri Guru Mandir became a wonderful temple. This Taj in Eastern India. Till the dedication of the temple to the mankind, that is twenty fourth May two thousand six, everyone of us knew it will be called as the Samadhi Temple of Beloved Guru Dev. The day he Christian is named as Shri Guru Mandir, all masters of the lineage there. i think first of such a temple first of such a beauty in this indian subcontinent the kind of labor that the residential brahmacharya training course participants trainees resident brahmacharya and sanyasis out of the guidance of beloved sri guru ji did in the west for the lotus of sri guru mandir to bloom up is really unimaginable i salute to all men women involved in that project around 450 people sometimes at the peak moment i salute them i express my love through tears my gratitude through tears to this holy community of men who have made this dream of beloved gurudev a reality a beautiful temple i was as a participant of that particular work shri guru ji has told that you cannot spend this any single night outside that of balas outside that of hari haran the gurukul as a secretary at that time was visiting very often to balas and to jagatpur ashram and the day after visit both the places imagine i will coming back around 11 o'clock night because that is the command of my master those days were really the days of the service and surrender i cannot revive that capacity in my life i cannot think of my dedicated service the way that i did during that time i cannot i will cherish the memory of that time because i was not there i was just a person and this capacity the skill that was bestowed on me by the shri guru ji it was he performing through me i bow to him i bow to beloved guru dev the same is that of birth centenary of our beloved guru dev beginning from the first draft of a reception committee at hari haran tapovanam on the bank of river ganga at uttarakashi to that to the inaugural day in 2006 and to the final closing day closing ceremony ceremony 2007 from may 2006 to may 2007 it was a beautiful beautiful time such a beautiful that we cannot forget it really a lifetime ceremony once in a lifetime not only me but all sanyasis all brahmacharis all well wishers all kriyavans of katak puri and elsewhere people coming kriyavans coming from various parts of india and abroad this served 24 hours a day i clearly say i am not exaggerating 24 hours a day to make that ceremony a success under the 
गाइडेंस ऑफ बिलोवेट से गुरुजी से गुरुजी वन डे टोल अस लुक हाउ बिलोवेट गुरुदेव डिड बाय हिमसेल्फ सेलेब्रेटेड हिज बर्थ सेंटेनरी रियली दैट आर द केस दिस टू इंपोर्टेंट एक्टिविटी ऑफ प्रज्ञान मिशन is recorded in the golden letters of its annals we can forget that i today will closing this by talk on that apragyan mission i invite all of you to join me let us pray to the god and gurus to give strength and wisdom to the apragyan mission its executive members to preach the message of gita to promote the cause of kriya yoga to participate in the welfare the welfare programs of the people to publish books and journals for spreading new light new illumination in the world and above all to provide assistance to the needy and poor during normal days and calamities during their suffering and miseries jai guru